All right, Brian Hurst, baby, how's it going? What's going on with the camp, Capone? Happy, 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 happy holidays, by the way, again. Happy holidays, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of good stuff going on, man. You know, uh, you've been grinding for quite a while now, man. I was checking you out. You know what I'm saying? You got quite a, quite a bit of music out there. But I'd like to get into getting to know you a little bit better for all the people who might not know. Uh, where'd you grow up at? Um, hint, my name, Brian Hurst, baby. Uh, I'm from Los Angeles, California. Um, for the people around the world, I'm from Los Angeles, California. Uh, for the people that's hip, I'm uh, from out the 60s, the Crenshaw District. Um, that's the same neighborhood as Nipsey Hussle, Big U. Um, famous neighborhood, Crenshaw High School. A lot of histor uh, historical landmarks, a lot of uh, black empowered communities around, surrounding my neighborhood. I'm from like a, 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 a very prestigious place in Los Angeles. To sum it up in so many words, when people ask me that question, I really be wanna, I can, I can give you a 30 minute, 45 minute answer, but I'm from like, I feel like I'm from the greatest place ever, you know, I'm from, you know what I'm saying? I'm from hustle stumping grounds, you know? Did you grow up there your whole life? Did you move there at any point? No, nah, I was, I'm earth turf birth, bro. Um, my mom's, my mom's from my, my section, my pops from my, my section. Um, yeah, but I was really pretty much born and raised in a section. I, um, we moved around a little bit, but like never for too long. You get what I'm saying? I didn't stay in, um, you feel me? My mom did a lot of, um, you know what I'm saying? She was in the field, like moving and grinding, you know what I'm saying? Chasing the bag, so you feel me? Um, I stayed in Vegas, um, Palmdale, Lancaster. I, didn't, I stayed in Victorville when I was younger with Pops. Uh, where else pops and stay that ducked off? Uh, I think what just Victorville. Um, I got kicked when I got kicked out of school, um, middle school, and shit. I went to San Diego with my auntie and aunt and finished eighth grade in San Diego. But like for pretty much, bro, I'm from I'm from out the hood, bro. I ain't really went nowhere. Like I ventured off. Like when I got in trouble, like my my punishment would be like her kicking me out the hood, like making me go stay somewhere far or some shit. But like yeah, bro, I'm from out the section. Like I know a lot of lot of lot of lot of people you interview be saying they really out of LA and shit, man. Like, I'm really from LA, like nigga, LA, LA. You feel me? You mentioned your mom and dad being from the section. Are they are they from your hood too? Yeah, hell yeah. Moms, moms uh is a little bit younger than pops, but pops and moms from the hood. And you feel me? I don't, um. I don't really got too much family, but like the people I do call family, they all like, you know what I'm saying, from the hood too. Like, that's why I'm like Brian Hurst's baby. Like, you feel me? On my section, nigga wouldn't be able to just be able to run around call it, naming themselves after a prestigious street in our section without really being from around there. You get what I'm saying? Niggas would snatch that title quick. Growing up, you know, with both your parents uh, from your hood, man, you know, what was that like? There was a lot of, a lot of dudes coming over. I think you had like a lot of older homies and, and people kind of guiding you. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. For sure, with moms and dad being from the uh, section, my chucks was laced. You know what I'm saying? At first, they didn't want me wearing chucks, but you know what I'm saying? Eventually, them chucks that was in the closet waiting on me, you know what I'm saying, was laced and ready. Um, pops, 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 um, if I'm not mistaken, you feel me? Pops was um, in jail for like the first two years of my life. And then when Cuz came home, Pops was on some like real man type shit, like you feel me? He was ready to make a change for me, you know what I'm saying? Like I got a son, I can't be out here just being on the same shit. Moms, like I said, Moms was a little younger. I wouldn't say she was like, you know what I'm saying? Um, just still like, you know what I'm saying? Like her younger days, but Moms was cripping, like you feel me? Like she. Like I said, moms was a trapper, so you feel what I'm saying? Our, we was, we, moms, mom's operation was deeply rooted in the hood. Sometimes we'll move out of town for a couple months, you know what I'm saying, while she go get it right. But you feel me, for the majority of the time, moms had a nigga in the section from the beginning of the hood, you know what I'm saying, the middle of the hood, and the uh, 
the ending of the hood. Some people might say the ending of the hood is the beginning. Either way, you know what I'm saying? From like every part of the section, you feel me? Hell yeah. And at what point did you decide it, like you wanted to be from the hood? And what, and what made you want to be from the hood? Uh, like you said, when you said um, a lot of older homies and shit was around, I was exposed to a lot, you feel me? So at first, truth be told, I really want to be better than that, you feel me? Because my mom and dad from the hood and um, deep down, you feel me? I ain't even gonna say deep down, nigga, at the surface, moms didn't really want a nigga to be from the hood. Moms wanted for a nigga to be better, you get what I'm saying? So at first, a nigga tried to neglect my calling, you feel me? Um, I ain't no dummy, so I was like, even though I was bad at school, like, I'm a cocky nigga, so I used to like be being at school, you know what I'm saying, and showing off like I was smart. Because growing up, you feel me, hanging out, you feel me, being from my section, all my friends was the niggas, like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I always hang out with the older cats, so all my friends was the popular kids and shit already, so I was already, like, as far as, like, social social status, the nigga's social status was valid, so I want to be, like, one of them niggas that can just floss and talk my shit, like, yeah, nigga, I'm a nigga and I'm smart, so at first I didn't really want to be from the hood. Like, when I graduated fifth grade, um, I told my mama, like, I was, I, was I, I made her proud. I told my mom, like, oh, moms, I don't want to go to uh, Horseman, because like I said, I grew up in the whole hood. Um, at this particular time, like fifth grade, transitioning to sixth grade, I was living in the front of the hood uh, on Van Ness and 70th, you feel me? That's like um, the AGs slash the fronts, you feel me? So my, my, my um, home school was Horseman. Horseman was probably like tops seven, eight minutes, 10 if I'm lagging, walking, you feel me, from my front door. So off the dribble, a nigga probably was gonna go to Horse Man, or if not, probably like some shit like Autobahn Middle School. Those is both middle schools that's cool for niggas like, you know what I'm saying, to go to like if you grew up in my neighborhood. But um, to get back on subject, um, I told my moms like I'm trying to go to a magnet school. So it was some, um, some schools called ISEF, Inner City Education. Inner City Education Foundation, I believe it stand for, but it was a a, a new one, like a a, a grand opener one in Inglewood. In so, moms uh, had found out about that school and she checked the nigga into there. You feel me? So, that's like a uniform school. Like you feel me? Wear a tie. You feel what I'm saying? Button down. You know what I'm saying? Um, khakis. Um, all black or all white shoes. You feel me? So that was lit for me. I'm like, you feel me? I'm walking from through the hood, you know what I'm saying, looking dapper Dan, you feel me? Finna go put some respect on myself as far as education. All my homies was the niggas though, you feel me? So it was like a nigga was, like I said, social status was valid, so it just made a nigga feel good. So um, sixth, seventh, eighth, sixth and seventh grade, I went to ISEF. Um, and then seventh grade, I had got um, expelled from ISEF because one of my partners had brought Billy to school and, um, this stupid ass fool brought Billy to school. And not only did he bring Billy to school, he brought firework. Not like a firecracker nigga, firework. One that like, you light that motherfucker and it go up. Like a real 4th of July firework. So, um, nigga, he brought the firework to school. This stupid ass nigga lit it on the corner. So when he light it on the corner, the principal right there and see the whole shit, but he don't know who lit it. So he coming, you know what I'm saying? He start walking towards us. We can't run, nigga. We go to a charter school. And if we run, we got to come to school tomorrow. So it's like, nigga. So bro panicked because he got thang on him, man. Hurry up and stash thang. So when the firework and shit go off, the principal come over there and like, um, who lit the firework? None of us say nothing. Then he start looking for the lighter. You get what I'm saying? Trying to scare us. Like, yeah, I'm going to find a lighter. And you niggas, um, we're going to get y'all fingerprints. So none of us still told on some shit. We got suspended for like five days, but he found the strap when he was looking for the lighter. So that's what got us suspended for the five. Like, we, matter of fact, we got an indefinite suspension. Like, but we came back after five days to have like the hearing, and none of us still told on each other. You get what I'm saying? So they was like, you feel me? They told moms like, you can either check them out or we gonna expel them. And if we expel them, it's gonna go on this permanent record. So she was like, all right, if I check him out of here, can you go to another ISF? They like, no. Like, you feel me, they gonna let, they, they let all the ISF know what happened. So I couldn't check into another ISF, but they didn't put an expulsion on my record. I just got checked out. From that point, I went to a school called Bell in San Diego, California. 
You feel me? That shit was like a new scene for me. In my um, in my last my last uh, pod with my nigga Bop, I explained like that was like a blood a blood um, infested city. It's Crips out there, but I was young where I lived at. You feel me? Was where the Damus was at and where I went to school. You know what I'm saying? Was predominantly Damus. I wasn't official from the hood yet, so you feel me? But you feel me? Like I said, I'm Earth Turf birth, so my ways was of a young six o nigga. So. That shit was like a different experience. So once I graduated eighth grade out there in Bell and shit, um, I can't, my mom was like, I can come back out here to live with her. You feel what I'm saying? And, um, but I still, we still had the agreement, like you ain't finna just go to any type of school. You feel me, Cam? Like, she like, she like, you feel me? We gonna still push that narrative. Like, you not stupid. You ain't gonna, we ain't just gonna, I'm, we, gonna, we gonna put some respect on this shit. We ain't gonna let you just flush your shit down the drain. You know what I'm saying? And fumble before you even pick the ball up. You get what I'm saying? So ninth grade, I went to some shit called USC Hybrid High. Um, that shit was downtown at the World Trade Center. That shit was dope as fuck. It was like a different experience. Like I said, another uniform school. I'm going to school. Dapper Dan is a motherfucker. You feel what I'm saying? Looking like some. And then you feel me? When I get to this school, um, USC Hybrid High, I'm surrounded a, uh, around a, a bunch of different ethnicities. You know what I'm saying? Different personalities, just shit that's not, you feel me, the uh, norm. So that shit was cool and it was computer based. That's where the hybrid come in, you feel me? A nigga worked on the computer, you feel what I'm saying? And you worked at your own pace. So if a nigga was able to, you know what I'm saying, complete a whole year of work in six months, you get what I'm saying? You would be in 10th grade in six months. So like I said, bro, I was, um, academically inclined, nigga, I'm smart. I ain't stupid, I'm a crip, but at the same time, a nigga's smart, you feel me? Like, I put some respect on myself when I was in school, so. Um, I went there ninth and 10th grade, and, um, you know what I'm saying? I still wasn't official from the hood yet, but at this point, like, in LA, you feel me? Niggas be claiming before they banging. The claiming come before the banging the official, but like I said, excuse me real quick. Like I said, I'm earth turf birth. You feel what I'm saying? Mom's from the hood, pops from the hood. Every nigga I hang out with, they older than me. They already official from the hood. The people I'm calling cousins and aunties and uncles, they, you know what I'm saying? They factors from the hood. So it was like, I was full fledged claiming like, um, I ain't gonna put none of my, you know what I'm saying? Street business on, on the camera, you know what I'm saying? But a nigga was like, what gangbangers did, nigga, we was outside doing. You feel what I'm saying? Because I'm already hanging out with older niggas, you feel me? These are my peers, these are my brothers. So it's like, I'm going to be hanging out with them regardless. And um, they just so happen to already be on gang shit. So, nigga, I'm on gang shit with them. So, um, ninth, 10th grade, you can kind of say, like, I found, like, I knew what was going to happen. Like, a nigga was still, like, neglecting it. But, like, nigga, a nigga damn near knew what it was. And then, um, 10th grade, what happened? Um, I forgot, bro. I smoke a lot of weed, but 10th grade, something had happened to where um, my mom was like, go get your mind right, you feel me? Uh, oh, that's what happened. My mom's got shot on hood. My, sh my mom, that's what, damn, that's crazy. My mom's got shot. No, I'm lying, sorry, sorry, Cam. That's a few months, but that's a few months. I got you. So something had happened to where my mom was like, I think it'd be better if you um, go be with my big brother. You feel what I'm saying? He stayed out there, and my big brother RP, he stayed out there, Lancaster, Palmdale. Like, go get toughened up by your big brother. Like, you fucking up. Like, you slipping away. Like, big bro, you need to be around a man. And my pops, at this time, Cole was staying in Atlanta. Moms wasn't letting a nigga get that far away. You feel what I'm saying? Pops a good nigga, though, but like, he just moved to Atlanta. Like I said, he was on some man shit trying to further himself so he can be good for me. But, um, she wasn't letting a nigga go to Atlanta, so I moved out there to um, Palmdale because um, my brother was out there, you get what I'm saying? I started going to school out there, but like, I don't know if you familiar with Palmdale, Lancaster in the Valley area. Have you ever been out there? No, no, I know where it's at though. Okay, I, I don't well, think I've ever been there. You familiar with there, buddy? I mean, I've been out there a few times. Okay, you know them houses is nice, they big as fuck, right? So at that time, you feel what I'm saying? Like I said, I was finding myself and in the midst of me finding myself, I found myself um, breaking into a lot of houses. And when I got out there, you feel what I'm saying? 
that was the start of it because those houses was big as fuck and it was like um i wasn't waking up and going to sleep to moms every day so you feel me it wasn't like i can just call moms and ask like my, I mean, I called moms, even just walking in mom's room, like, mom's gonna have this, gonna have that. She kinda, she, I ain't even gonna say kinda far, she is far, a nigga in high school with no car. She in a different city. And then, so, you feel me, that was Western Union, this before Cash App and all that shit. So, you feel me, I had to wait some time, like, nigga, she couldn't do it right then and there. And then, when knowing that I'm putting moms through, like, a hassle, nigga, or pops through a hassle, they gotta get up, go away to Western Union, send the money. So, I'm like, my nigga, there's like a sign, like, nigga, it's time to drop your nuts. And then my brother was out there, my brother RP, he was out there hustling and grinding too. So when a nigga go get money from him, nigga, he, 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 he making it known, like, he vocalizing, like, nigga, you fucking me up. I got to hurry up, nigga. Like, nigga, you, you feel what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you just trying to smoke and buy little shoes and shit, nigga. I got to re up, nigga, to make sure we really straight. So if you really need something, a nigga can make it happen for you. So me and Big Bro got that understanding. That's when I started putting respect on the, on the money bag, you feel me? And you know what I'm saying? Um, draw my nuts, you feel me? And start going to get my own money. So once I start seeing how um, easy it was to get this money, you know what I'm saying, out there, they wasn't as... Um, fluent as I was with that shit. I was going by myself, you feel me? I was coming home, you know what I'm saying, with 800 to 2,000, nigga, every other day, you feel what I'm saying? So I'm like, nigga, fuck school, nigga. I can smoke weed. I'm getting fly, nigga. You feel me? I'm chilling. So that shit went on, you feel me? And the nigga grade started lagging. But like I told you, I went to the USC school. So when I was in 10th grade, I already had second semester 11th grade credits. So I really was like, nigga, this tiny looks, nigga. If I do a nigga fuck up, nigga, this year, they still can't hold me back, nigga, because I'm already ahead. You get what I'm saying? So I was tiny looking, bro, breaking in the houses and shit. And then um, I had caught a case out there. And once I caught a case, I wasn't official yet from the hood. So. When I went to juvenile hall and I just started seeing what it is, like, you feel me? Like, I, I made it known, though, like, you feel me? I don't bang, but I'm about the 60s because it wouldn't be right for me to, you feel me, be in there um, lying, fault, like, you feel me? So, but at the same time, in juvenile hall, nigga, you can't be in there claiming they're going to pull your car. Like, nigga, you ain't official, like, you feel me? But I let them know, like, nigga, I'm about the 60s, so, like, you feel what I'm saying? I'm taking whatever come with that. For the most part, I was straight niggas fuck with me how I carried myself in juvenile hall. So, you feel me? That's when I met my nigga Chuckster from BPS. Shout out my boy. You feel me? But I did like two months, bro. I came home from uh, juvenile hall. At that point, my nigga camp, I'm like, uh, it's about that time. You feel me? And after I got out, I had went right back for, like I said, I was flocking. So, they, um, burglary. A department out there was watching the nigga. They let me do my little two months, beat the case that I was fighting, and then they came and got a nigga again. Boom. I went to juvenile hall for about a week after that, and then nigga, I got a DA reject. The, my nigga that's in receiving, he told me, like, um, Simpson, man, you feel me? You lucky, but somebody telling on you. Like, you know, you a kid right there, so they get your file and all that shit. He like, man, somebody was telling on you, bro. Go out there, get your head together. I ain't listen to that shit. I came home, you feel me? Still start getting money. I moved back with moms and I checked in the Crenshaw camp. Once I checked in the Crenshaw, that's when it was like, nigga, yeah, I'm in this bitch. You feel what I'm saying? So I checked in the Crenshaw. I was with all my peers. You feel me, niggas? I was already hanging with after school and on the weekend. You feel me? But now I'm with you niggas from, you know what I'm saying, when I leave the house, nigga, to when I go in the house. So you feel me? I was, you know what I'm saying, I got exposed to even more shit, you feel me, just being in the hood more, you feel me, so, um, I had caught another case for flocking camp, they came and got a nigga from school. At, at what point do you actually get put on? That's what I'm telling you, I'm coming right now. They come and get a nigga from school on my mama, and I get put on house arrest, boom. Once I get put on house arrest camp on hood, bro. I was on house arrest for about a month. I ended up beating that case, but on the last day of me being on house arrest, I had um, went to court, boom, uh, I beat the case. They like, I'm, we're gonna cut the bracelet off tomorrow. No, they cut the bracelet off, boom, Cam, I'm off house arrest with you and boom, I go to school. I fuck around, go to school, get kicked out because the op checked into the school. Nigga, rent, uh, squabbled that nigga as soon as he checked into the school. Boom, I end up getting kicked out of the school, Cam. This, the cold thing about this is a full uh, uh, story twist, bro. If I'm lying, I'm dying, nigga. I squabble the op, nigga, boom. Get kicked out of school. My mama's birthday is the next day. 
So, like I said, I was flocking the shit. I had a little dollars because I was um, on house arrest. You feel me? I couldn't spend no chili. So, boom, I go get my mama a little gift for her birthday, nigga, on my kid. Um, I give my mama some weed and some perfume for her birthday. I'll never forget this night, nigga. Um, she go out for her birthday, like I told you. When she go out for her birthday, she get shot eight times on hood. When my mama get shot eight times, I don't even know, bro. I wake up the next morning on her official birthday because she brung in her birthday with a function. So I wake up the next morning on her official birthday like, damn, cuz where mom's at? I know mom's ain't never got too faded to where she don't come home. But I'm like, maybe she didn't. Went to one of her friends' house, they didn't let her drive. So boom, nigga, in my everyday routine back in the day, you know what I'm saying? Um, before school, I used to wake up and um, watch the news, cuz, on hood. So um, before I could even do that, the female I was fucking with at that time, they had called me like, um, she was calling me, she like, KJ, you all right? I'm like, yeah, I'm straight, what's going on? Um, you feel me not thinking nothing of it? Her mama snatched the phone, she like, um, yeah, KJ, how you doing, baby? Woo -woo -woo. Um, call Sheena, she gotta tell you something about your mama. Boom, I'm like, what happened to my mama? You feel what I'm saying? She like, just call Sheena. So boom, I click on her. I call my mama homegirl, Sheena. I'm like, Sheena, what's going on? What happened to my mama? So boom, she like, KJ, your mama all right? She just got shot in the arm. I'm like, you sure my mama's straight? She like, yeah, I, I promise. She just only got shot in the arm. I'm like, all right. Um, I'm like, I'm like, should I come up to the hospital or should I go to school? She like, um, I don't know, once I get out of, no, I think she said go to school, and once I, once I talk to your mom when she get out of surgery, uh, I'ma send somebody up there to get you. Mind you, I'll tell you my everyday program is to watch the news, cause as long as I'm watching the news, they start talking about the hood. So I'm like, ooh, damn, cut, what happened in the hood? You feel what I'm saying? I'm just, my already told my mama got shot, then I'm like, damn, what happened now? What happened in the hood? Nigga, my mama on the news. They say, uh, yeah. First of all, they showed my mama car, nigga. My mama car got, nigga, nigga, 30-some bullets, nigga, 20, 30-some bullets in it. So now I'm like, cuz, never. Then the news keep it hood, like, yeah, she got shot multiple times, woo -de woo 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 nigga, critical condition, like, freaky shit. So now I'm pressured up. Like, nigga, what? You know what I'm saying? I'm hood. Like I told you, before I was even official, a nigga been like, you know what I'm saying, with the extracurricular activities. So a nigga like, you know what I'm saying, I called my, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Mom just got shot, everybody think I'm lying because I'm a jokester. Man, on hood, nigga check the news. So my boy go watch the news on the dead homies, uh, I'm on my way out there. So cause, um, I called my mama back, you feel what I'm saying? Now I'm crying like a nigga, I'm, you feel what I'm saying? On hood, that shit, you know what I'm saying, make a nigga emotional, it's like, Oh, hell, mom, what's going on? Like, you gonna make a nigga kill something? Like, that was the first time I really talked my mama like some real shit. Like, oh, hell, you gonna make a nigga really like, what's going on? Talk to me. You feel me? So, uh, moms kept a hood. Like, you feel me? Like, I'm straight, but they tried to kill me. Like, come see me. Like, cuz, you feel me? My head fucked up. Cuz, I'm like, cuz, you feel me? Mind you, I, nigga, on hood, ever since I jumped off the porch, you know what I'm saying? I've been hooked up like Wi Fi. You get what I'm saying? Streets know what I'm talking about. So you feel me? I'm hooked up like Wi Fi. I really don't want to come see my mom in the hospital on hood. I'm trying to go, you know what I'm saying, do my due diligence. But you know what I'm saying? Mom's crying through the phone, begging me. And then she didn't already, she, you know what I'm saying? Everybody know, you know what I'm saying? Loose screw in my pack of niggas, you know what I'm saying? Professional loose screws. Mom's and already sent my sister and them to come get me, so I'm walking out the house. You know what I'm saying? I done already got my pack of niggas, you know what I'm saying? They make it to the hood. So I'm finna go get on the bus. My sister and them already right there. I jump in the car with sis. Mom ship a nigga back to the valley with big bro. You feel me? On hood from the hospital. Cause she know what a nigga on. I play the role on hood. I stay out there for like seven days, nigga. I'm back to the hood. After that, nigga. <clears throat> Nigga, I was official, like, in my eyes. But then, um, fast forward some more months, I was tiny looking, Cam. Okay? Like, after that night, it was just like, nigga, this 60th Street. But a few months later, passed by, and the homies accepted me, Cam. Okay? Like, I was official, like, 
on her, bro, from the, like, you feel me? Like, no cap, like, you can go ask, nigga. But some few months passed by, right? And I got shot myself. I got shot two times on my way home while my mom in the bed healing. You get what I'm saying? Mom's got shot in the head, nigga, uh, shoulder, arms, chest, like, yeah, on her, but my mama a soldier, nigga, on her, nigga, my mama was, by the time I made it to the hospital, nigga, on her, my mama was up joking. Laughing, dancing, talking her shit. But yeah, mom's got shot in the head and all kind of shit on rolling. But a few months pass, I get shot. Your mom gets shot. Okay, and and how many times did she get shot? Eight. Eight times. Yeah. And she got shot in the head once? Yeah. Man, bro. Um, you know, how are you feeling, man? Were you just that's what you know, I'm, angry? That's what I'm sad? saying. Like, that's what I'm saying. It was like a mixture of both because it's like, you feel me? I'm the youngest. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm attached to my mama hip, like a sidekick. You get what I'm saying? So that fucked the nigga up. Like, I was sad at first when I first heard it, but when I see, and I see how mom's like, you know what I'm saying? Bounce back like a soldier, like she was straight, like on hood, no, none of that. Like nigga, the, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, she got it, nigga, she was focused up on her feet, like so. The sadness went from just from sadness to madness to, you know what I'm saying, to like evil, like cuz on hood, these niggas shot my mama. So when I see she functioning and she ain't going nowhere no time soon, that was when it's time, you know what I'm saying, for on her, yo baby boy, you know what I'm saying, to on rolling, you know what I'm saying, niggas gonna feel it. So it was some months and months on her crib, nigga just, you know what I'm saying, doing whatever a nigga doing, and I got shot. I got my first taste of karma. I got shot twice on my way home on the hood. And uh, <clears throat> once I got shot. Um, Can you take me through what happened? Um, all right, so after my mom's had got shot on 6 0, she was like real, like finicky and real, like. Um, she was like real, like cool on the hood. Like, and she wanted me to be cool on the hood. Like, you feel me? Like, she was just like. They shot your mama, nigga. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Not the hood, but you feel me? Like, the streets. Like, you feel me? Like, nigga, it's serious. You feel what I'm saying? Mom's a low. You feel what I'm saying? But she got shot eight times. She a female. She not a nigga. So, them real feelings. So, um, I was thugging and shit, still going to the hood and whatever. And then, um, one, this particular day, um, I was thugging with my brothers, uh, 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 Temper Nut, Free Temper Nut, and my brother Ruff. Um, we was chilling. My my big brother Ruff, that's Temper Nut Big Brother, he had a little play up. So he like, man, huh, y'all can use the car. So me and my nigga, we sliding. Young niggas, mind you, we still in high school. I got shot when I was I think either 16 or 17. Um, so we sliding, you feel me? We link up with my nigga TU. He a rapper too, uh King TU. We link up with TU, we gang sliding, you feel me, carpooling. Then one of my boys, I stayed in Hartford at the time, one of my boys called me like, hey fool, I got some little bitches. You feel me? So um, when he said he got some little bitches, me and Temper Nut, we slide off. So we sliding down Crenshaw, I'm on the phone with my boy like, um, you feel what I'm saying? He like, I got some bitches, I'm on the phone with him, we talking, I'm like, easy car, we on the way. You feel me, popping shit. It's a car um, on the right hand side of us. They run the uh, stops. They run the stoplight because I was on Crenshaw and Florence. That's in my hood. They run the stops. The stoplight on Crenshaw and Florence. Boom. Once they run the stoplight, bro, for some fucking odd reason, run the stop sign with them and get up on them. At this point in time, we wasn't hooked up. You feel what I'm saying? Cause um, big bro rough. He was like nigga. Leave that shit at the house, like, y'all niggas not finna get my car taken, and you two stupid ass niggas not finna go do nothing on my car, nigga, this is my real car in my name. I know you two niggas. So he like, you niggas, leave that shit here. Nigga, go fuck with some bitches, do some player shit. Y'all ain't finna be on no hot shit on my car. So boom, I don't know why would, big, why, would, why, would, why would Twin do that? Twin got on the side of the car, boom. They got cracking like they were supposed to. Um, they fired like, ten, like eight to 10 shots, I got shot twice. Bro, didn't know I was shot. shot. Huh? Where'd you get shot at? Um, in both of my legs. So, yeah. They filled the car up, I got hit both of my legs. Boom. I tell bro like I'm hit. He like, you hit? Now he like, this is my twin, this is my road dog, my best friend. So he like, what? So boom, 
He in shock. He's still driving on the side of the car. That nigga, they giving it up still. Boom, 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 boom. I'm like, turn off, Roly. So boom, I get hit again. When I tell him that, I get hit again. Boom. I'm like, turn off. So boom, he finally turned off, nigga. When he turned off the car, I guess they hit the engine block or something they did, nigga, the car started like about to stop. So once we turn it, we turn at a slow speed, so slow speed, I see the car make the turn on the next block. I'm thinking like a nigga that's thinking like how they thinking. I'm like, nigga, they finna double back and do they fuck it up. So boom, I bounce out the car, nigga. Like, no, no, he driving it. I'm like, gas up, bro. They turn. They gonna try to cut us off. He like, Roly, the car stopped. Like, it ain't going. He pressing the gas. It's not going. Dead homies, nigga. I bounce out the passenger seat. Mind you, I'm shot in both my legs. My drilling going, nigga. What? Bounce out the passenger side. Nigga, run to the back of somebody's house. Um, I tried to hit the fence, but my legs, like, went numb on me. So he threw my legs over. Boom, we hopped in the back of the, um, these people yard, boom, we did the like check. I'm like, bro, check and make sure you feel me. I ain't shot nowhere else and just only my legs. Boom, he do the check. He like, no, nah, you straight, Roly. Boom. I ain't gonna lie, my goofy ass started laughing. I'm like, damn, cuz I really got shot. I'm really laughing because I'm scared what I'm finna tell my fucking mama, nigga. My mama just got shot eight times. You feel what I'm saying? How the fuck I'm finna call and tell moms, nigga, her baby boy just got shot. You get what I'm saying? So boom, that's all going through my head. I'm like, damn, temper nut. I gotta, we gotta go yell for help. So boom, we go to the front, we yell, help, help. Boom, I'm shot. So boom, nigga, the paramedics and the Johnny pull up. Johnny pull up with the gun out on me. I'm like, no, I'm shot. So boom, they come, they cut my little jeans off and shit. Um, and then I call moms, told moms what happened, she devastated. Like, what the fuck going on? On her, this broke her heart. So, um, nigga, on her, she come to the hospital and shit. I hurry up and like, you feel me? I ain't even get prescribed no medicine, nothing. I wanted to get up out of there before the um, the detectives come because I was on juvenile probation. In LA, if you if you on probation and you a gang member um, and you get shot with, with some shit that got to do with gang violence, you go to jail for that shit. So I didn't even want to, I didn't even want to on hood. So moms got me up out of there before all that shit happened. And, um, after that, bro, I say like two weeks, I had went back to the hood um, to Temper Nut and my big bro Rough House and they moms from the hood too, they mama Peaches. I went to their house and I told um, my big brother uh, Temper Free Temp and my cousin R.I.P. Scooby, I caught like, nigga, why you feel me? I got shot for this shit, cuz like, even though I'm accepted, like, nigga, I need to, on hood, I need to sign my name on the dotted lines, like, you know what I'm saying? I need to be an official player of the roster. So, you know what I'm saying? I did my due diligence, and then that's how I became a part of the Rolling 60s, cuz. And since then, it's just been no smut, no cuts, no buster shit. But a nigga got a real story, bro. I ain't one of these niggas that just, like, jumped up one day and seen Boys in the Hood or seen the Nipsey Hussle video. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm finna go bang 60s. Nah, no, nigga. This shit, like, dip, deeply rooted like a nigga that won and lost for this shit on Hood. Okay, were you going to Crenshaw High at this time? Yep. Is Crenshaw High a predominantly Crip school? Hell yeah, you got the um, um, most 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 of the time it's the forties and the sixties. You feel what I'm saying? And um, before before a few years ago, you feel me? That was like that was like unfuckwittable. Them two hoods, you feel me? And then some shit happened, um, nigga. You feel me? We'll probably get into that in a, a, a different, a different day. That's a whole nother story and within its own. And I respect the politics. So before I speak on that, I'll, I'm gonna ask the older homies and other homies, my peers, like, is it even? You know what I'm saying, you feel me? I'm saying just to even put that that business out there because that shit, that shit like a, a soft spot. You feel what I'm saying? But that's a 40s, 60s, 30s, the 50s. You feel what I'm saying? Sometimes you have a couple hundreds come there if they get kicked out of Washington. You know what I'm saying? Some East Coast is like, that was, yeah, predominantly Crip school. But the funny thing about it is, nigga, the Van Ness Gangsta Bloods is about two, two blocks, two blocks away from that school. You feel what I'm saying? That's like in their hood. It's on, um, 
well, I want to say 54th and 11th half, or 10th, yeah, uh -huh. that's where, I, where the school fall at, but like, yeah, that shit crazy, bro. That's a predominantly crib school that's two blocks away from the Bloods. <laughs> you feel me? Did they go to the school too? Um, I think back in the day they probably went to school there, but no, nah, they don't. Um, from my knowledge, you feel me, when I was going there, if it was somebody from there going there, you feel me, nigga, they was smooth as a motherfucker. I can't say they didn't, bro, because, nigga, you would be surprised, like, what you what 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 kind of niggas went there, but niggas know how to slide through the cracks, like niggas just going to going to class and, and going home. What it's, would it be like if you guys found out like a blood alert like during that time, if you found out a blood dude was like going to school with you? Like I told you, bro, the night before mom the day before the um the in the day, I wanna say the day before my mom got shot or late earlier that day before my mom got shot, bro, I got kicked out of Crenshaw for squabbling a nigga from uh, opposing hood. I got kicked out. So like, you gonna get your ass whooped. You gonna get packed out. You know what I'm saying? If you don't check out quick, like, all right, so say you first check in there, boom. Um, social media and shit was out. I don't know, I can't speak for niggas now. Social media and shit was out back then, but I don't even think you can post stories on Instagram back then. So a nigga would have to boldly post what it had to take a picture you know what I'm saying, at the school and make itself known, like, yeah, I go here. So it was it was kind of easy, and I don't even think Facebook has stories. Like, nigga, it was no such thing as stories. Like, nigga, you feel me? So, um, yeah, it probably was some niggas that went there, but if we would have found out the niggas that went there, we would have lined them up. The, if he was an op, op, you feel what I'm saying? He gonna get lined up by all the Crips. It was 30s to the 100s going there when I was going there. So he would get his ass, ass kicked by the niggas that went there. You know what I'm saying? We'd get on the phone and tell other young homies that don't go, like we wouldn't call no big homies or like, no, we we keeping it within our age group, we can handle this. You feel me? We're gonna call some other Crips, like that's around our age group, that's probably at a different school, like, yeah, Wooty Wham go here. Nigga, whoever got a car, gonna bring them to the school. Nigga, and everybody from the 30s to 100s gonna do that. So if he make it to the end of the day, he gonna get the pack, another pack out of his motherfucking life at the end of the school. And if he tough enough to keep going there, Shit, Lord knows what might fucking happen because then it's like, oh, motherfucker, you think you tough. You feel what I'm saying? So most niggas got their ass kicked and got the fuck up out of there. You feel what I'm saying? They got the, they got the message, but um, if a nigga did stay there, he was like real low key. He, didn't, he damn near probably hung out with the Hispanic kids just to, you feel what I'm saying? Just to, you know what I'm saying? Dodge the... Yeah. Just to stay out of the mix. Yeah, dodge the feng shui, man. Mm-hmm. Okay, I ain't, take, uh, I ain't you know, taking you're going no to school now. You've been shot. You know, you're official, man. How does your life change at this point? Like I said, bro, I'm earth turf birth, so it just went from me hanging with the niggas I was already hanging with to shit, I was just hanging with the niggas I was hanging with, but like as far as like life changing events, like um, I really wasn't no jail nigga for the most part as an adolescent. Like I beat most of my juvenile cases. Like the longest I did in jail as a teen, like juvenile hall was two months. I did like 63 days and then I did the week after I did the 63 days and then I did like two days waiting to get the house arrest bracelet that I told you, I remember I told you I was on house arrest when my, I had just got off the day my mama got shot. I got, I got, they cut off my house arrest bracelet. I went to school late. Soon as I got there at lunch, squabbled the nigga from the opposite hood, got kicked out, went to the mall to buy my mama a fucking Christmas gift, even though I was, cause I knew I was gonna get cussed out for getting kicked out of school, but it was my mom's birthday. She wasn't finna let me fuck off her parade. So went to get her a gift and shit. Boom, then my mama gets shot. So after that, bro, it was just like, you feel me? I'm really earth turf birth. It was just like more like, you feel me? Putting in the groundwork, like nigga, solidifying my name. You feel me? Making sure I ain't do no buster shit. But like, as an adolescent, I didn't go, I didn't go to jail. Um, but when I turned 18, um, I got shot again. I got shot again at 18. Oh yeah, so as a matter of fact, I got shot at 17 because I got shot a year after I got shot the first time. Um, I got shot again um, on 59th and Crenshaw at my at my people's house. We had a back and forth encounter, you know what I'm saying? And I happened to get hit up in a crossfire 
And um, like the, like I said, same thing, nigga. Um, I was I was always taught like get up out of there before the police come because they're gonna be asking you questions and shit, especially if it's gang related. In this particular incident, a lot of shit had went down, so I really didn't want to get questioned by the detectives because then they was gonna come over there and try to like you get what I'm saying? Like I didn't want we're gonna let this be cold. You feel me? I don't want y'all to know where I got shot at or nothing. So um, I got up out of there again, and um, the next day after that, I had lost some jury the night before. So I had went to the um, Slauson Swap Meet the day after to get some more jury. When I went up there, some shit transpired. I don't really have nothing to do with it, you feel me? But a nigga guilty by association, so some shit transpired. Like I said, I was shot. So uh, when the shit transpired, I couldn't get away. You feel what I'm saying? And I didn't want to slow my niggas down, so I didn't even run the same way they ran because they was running away to the getaway car, you feel me? and security was coming and all that. So I'm like, I'm not even gonna slow y'all down and get security to the, you know what I'm saying? So I went my whole own different way, even though I had nothing to do with it. So I'm really just trying to like get up out of there. Boom, I went my whole own way, end up seeing a nigga that got robbed, leaving the scene. He bounced out his car and like started chasing me. Like nigga, where my shit at? I'm like, nigga, I ain't even rob you nigga, but like I'm trying to get low because Mind you, I'm shot and shit. You feel me? I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to get caught for no motherfucking robbery shot. You feel me? What happened? This nigga chased me down. On oh, my mama, I'm shot, I can't really get away. He hold me down for the security to come. On oh, my mama, they book a nigga for robbery. Um, I bail off for that case. I had a $120,000 bond. I bail off for that shit, fresh 18. Um, I was out for like two or three months, buddy no cap, and violated my bail, and they just snatched the nigga up off the streets, raised my bail to like 200 something thousand, and the nigga wasn't super rich, so I'm telling moms, like, a nigga not finna keep um, giving these people all this money, like, nigga, I'ma thug it out, just put the money on my books. So mom wasn't really feeling that, she was like, man, at your next court date, I'ma try to tell the people to drop, like, tell your lawyer to tell the, you know what I'm saying, drop your bond, and I'ma come get you again. So boom, um, it turned out the witnesses and everybody came to court and they was ready to testify, nigga, from the first court date, you feel me, my first court date. So I'm like, fuck that. I asked a little, uh, uh, I had a private investigator. Sometimes you get those instead of public defenders like on your first case before we could even buy a lawyer because you feel what I'm saying? This is the first time a nigga caught a dope case. So. Boom, I had like some shit called a private investigator. He kept it strict with a nigga like, bro, nigga, it's eight witnesses. It's the nigga, his wife, all his kids, and then the two security from the swap meet. It's a video, pictures. It just don't look good for you, bro. He like, I can get you a deal for three years. You can take it on the chin, or we can, we can fight it, whether you fight it with me or not. They going they pushing the narrative because all the witnesses ready to cooperate. You feel me? So he spooked me into taking the three years. So I'm like, fuck it. I'm not finna um, try to gamble and then fuck around and get convicted of some serious shit. I took the plea deal for three years. I'm my own. I'm by myself. I don't got no crime. Me. So I'm like, fuck it. I took the three years, and then that's when I went to the penitentiary. You feel what I'm saying? Um, I went to the penitentiary for two years, dug it on the yard, you feel me? Solidified my name even more, met some niggas from all around LA, met some niggas from opposite hoods that a nigga build relationships with because a nigga was gelling with them for, you feel me? A nigga gelling with you, you feel me? So you gon' you gon' meet niggas that you fuck with from the opposite side, you probably done fuck the same bitch as him. Nigga, his cousin, probably your cousin. Something gon' then might draw you to an op, so a nigga, know a couple of niggas, you feel me? When, like that shit was like, um, I feel like if you a young gangbanger, cause you need to go hit the pen, like you feel me? Meet, meet the niggas that you probably won't ever see again on the streets and just program, you know what I'm saying? And, and put some respect on your crippin' cause that's a big, it might sound crazy and stupid, but nigga, back in the day that was like a big part of like making your name, like cause you have to go hit that yard, nigga. Whatever you are, nigga, stay down, shitty nigga, and 
go crip. So I really didn't been through everything, Cam nigga. Shot, shot at, shot at motherfuckers. Moms then got shot. You feel me? I done been the golden child in the hood. Moms cracking, trapping, having everything. The flyest young nigga in the hood. Nigga then got slow. And the nigga was like the regular kids. Like every street aspect as a young LA nigga, like I'm really an authentic young LA nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Respectfully. At what point did you meet Nipsey Hussle? Um, like I said, bro, I'm Earth Turf Birth. So I've been on Nipsey Hussle since Nip Hussle was Thundercat. Um, I met Hustle probably for the first time in like 2005. I was um, like probably seven or eight years old. I think seven. I met Hustle in 05 because um, <clears throat> on 10th Avenue on Crip. Um, he was rapping already, but that was like moms introduced him like, you know what I'm saying? KJ, this Nip. Nip, this my son. KJ, this my little homie. Moms knew a nigga was, I was feeling the rapping shit, you feel me? So she was like, yeah, he rapped. And at first I didn't like her because I was overprotective about my mama. Like, man, this nigga trying to talk to my mom. But later on that day, nigga, I was his biggest fan. Like, nigga just hanging around him and everything. Like, you feel me? From day one, like, because you feel me? I'm a, I'm a hip hop nigga. I like hip hop. Like, you feel what I'm saying? My favorite rapper before Hustle was 50 Cent. You feel what I'm saying? So Hustle not a rap. So I'm like, damn, cuz my nigga Hustle. And he from the neighborhood. You feel me? He representing the shit I'm imitating. So I met him in 2005 on Crip, and then we always had like a, a big brother, little brother relationship. Like nigga, he, is, he is, uh, like nigga, I was around for a lot of significant um, events, nigga, pertaining to hustle. Like when he went to the BET Awards, cuz left my house, cuz was at my house before he went to the airport. Nigga on my mama on Crip, he teased me like, you wanna go? But he already knew I was in trouble cuz uh, I had fucked up and didn't do my science fair, so my mom was on me. So he was like teasing the nigga, like, you wanna go? My mom like, you he ain't going nowhere, he didn't do his motherfucking science fair, but like, that was my big bro. I ain't gonna lie, like nigga, sent the nigga, um, him and Black Sam and Adam sent the nigga my sent me my first package when I was in jail. Like, yeah, that's big bro, like nigga, on credit monument. I knew he was I knew he was a goat before. Nigga, anything, like, nigga, I, I'm like, cuz, this my favorite rapper, he out the section, any he hard as fuck? Like, he, he been solidified to me. I gotta double back real quick, bro. Being that your mom and your dad are both from the 60s, how did they feel when they found out you were officially from the 60s? Okay, so, um, when I got my official after I got shot, um, they knew I, like, Moms and them had a win, like I was claiming, but like I said, like nigga is claiming and is banging. Like moms from the old school, so she can hear a nigga claiming all day. She don't respect that shit. Like she like, all right, he claiming, but like is he official from the hood? So you feel me? At first it was no. Then nigga, I got put on the hood and I hid it from her for like, I want to say like 90 days, four months. And she called me one day. She was like, yeah, what's up, man, hunt? Manhunt, that's my, that's my, that's my hood name. She like, yeah, what's up, Manhunt? My mama said this. I look at the phone, I hang up in her face. She called me back. She was like, yeah, dumbass, I know. You a stupid ass. Wooty woo 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 woo, cuss me out. With your dumb ass. Wooty woo 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 woo. You know, everything you hear on the nigga. Well, I ain't gonna say you hear, cause but you know, like uh uh uh, you ever heard the uh uh um, Keenan? You better not, like, you gonna, you gonna die or go to jail just like your mother, you feel what I'm saying? Them type of conversations, like, you feel me, you gonna die, go to jail, like, she kept it straight with me, though, like, nigga, on hood, like, nigga, moms kept it hood, like, nigga, you better have a gun, all kind of shit, moms didn't call the nigga doing a lot of shit, bro, I remember moms called me hustling, nigga, selling crack, nigga, moms laced the nigga boots, yeah, nigga, you do it like this, you do it like that, you do it like that, wooty wham wham, you feel me, when pops found out, I was gang banging. He was just on some like militant drill sergeant shit too. You strapped, who you under? Wooty woo woo, wooty woo woo. You know what I'm saying? Ask me real questions, cause nigga, they know the truth. Once you get put on, it's like a nigga ain't getting put off. So it was like nigga, they had to. I ain't gonna say they just, like she just accepted. The moms wasn't fucking with a nigga for a cool minute off that choice, but pops was more on some like man. You feel me? You my son. You made your veg. You got to land it. But nigga, 
I'm gonna just make sure you, you you equipped and you're doing it right. So you feel me? Pops was more like that with her. Moms wasn't fucking with a nigga for a minute. She still loved me, but all that extracurricular asking for shit, that was out the window, nigga. You from 60s now. Figure it out. Uh -huh. Okay. You mentioned the BET Awards with Nipsey. You said he left your house. Oh, what year was this? Do you remember? Um, which every year that that clean on the inside, cream on the outside, ice cream, ice cream, ice cream, paint job. Okay, so like around probably like 2010. Okay. Yeah. What was your reaction? Okay, because you brought up the BET Awards. You remember? You made me remember the 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 slap. The Nipsey Hustle slap when he slapped the dude, and I believe that was the BET no. Awards. Okay, that was the Hip Hop Awards. That was okay. like, when that happened, I was in prison with my nigga uh, ODM Slim. You feel me? That nigga, we seen that shit, cause I, we didn't have, um, I don't think we had BET, bro, so we couldn't watch the BET. Did we have BET? No, we didn't have BET, so we couldn't watch the BET Awards, but nigga, soon as it happened, it made TMZ, nigga, everybody on the yard, like nigga, Hustle just slapped the nigga. You feel me? Hustle just slapped the nigga. Victory slap. Some niggas had some niggas had uh, 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 phones and shit up in there. So you feel me? Niggas was like, yeah, nigga, Hustle just slapped the nigga. He hopped off the Maybach, nigga, and slapped the nigga. And he had on one of these shirts, nigga. Real crib shirts, you feel me? On my mama, nigga. These shirts make you want to slap a nigga if they play with you, for real. You know what I'm saying? Hustle the GOAT, nigga. We see that's just regular shit though in the hood. Like nigga disrespect you in the hood, nigga might slap the fuck out a nigga like, uh, who you talking to? Who you playing with? You know what I'm saying? Me, I'm a cool nigga, but in the hood, nigga might slap the shit out you. One of the homies. I'm cool. I don't, I don't I might not slap a nigga. I ain't I ain't really gotta slap no nigga. Nigga around me might slap you for me. On the hood, but hustle, yeah. Hustle grew up in that generation, like nigga disrespect. And we're going to show you nigga put some respect on it. So that shit was tight. I was in prison when that shit happened. I'm like, damn. <laughs> no Everybody kidding. in prison was just kind of tripping out when they seen it? Hell yeah. It was just like, you feel me? Because everybody in L.A., I was in California prison. So you feel me? Everybody in Cali, like, nigga, team nip, unless you a hater. So it was like, nigga, Hustle just slapped the nigga. Even, like, Hispanics and, 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 and white boys was like, man, that fool Nipsey Hustle just slapped somebody. It was just, you know, niggas ain't used to seeing no real shit happen like that, nigga, on TV at BET Awards. Niggas be trying to be on their best behavior. Like, nigga, I got it. They be wanting to perform and shit. But you feel me? Disrespect come, you know what I'm saying? Nigga disrespect, then a nigga got to react to the disrespect. You feel me? All right, then. I hear you, man. All right, and now, okay, so at some point, you know, Nipsey Hussle starts to get really big. You know, I remember, uh, you know, when I first learned about Nipsey, it was a hustle in the house was was kind of how I, I was introduced to Nipsey Hustle. Um, but, you know, I know he was doing his thing before that. But, you know, he just, you know, Nipsey just he just kept grinding, man. You know what I'm saying? It was like he just stayed consistently putting out good work throughout the years, you know? Uh, yeah. And, uh, you know, what was that like for you guys seeing that? Um, Hustle in the house. Where the fuck was I when he shot us in the house? Um, I was somewhere. I forgot. But my mom was in that video. So, and you know, back then, it wasn't really like, you no know, um, YouTube and shit like that, nigga. Hustle went, it was YouTube and shit, but like, everybody had no computer, nigga. Only the only people who was cracking had a computer. So when that shit dropped on 106 in Park, I'm like, nigga, Hustle on 106 in Park, nigga. And mind you, I stayed on Bryanhurst, nigga. So it was a little, t it's a tagging in a video, like a, a, a real uh, 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 famous tagging with the hood. Like, you feel me? Uh, the older homie, Shiny Mac, nigga, that's my mama brother, hit up the whole lot. It was like an old cemetery, nigga. Tight ass strike up, right? And we seen that shit on 106 in Park. I'm like, nigga, Hustle putting on, nigga. 106 in Park, come on, bro. That's global. This Hustle, this Thundercat, this Nip, nigga, this neighborhood Nip, like, nigga, I just seen him. <laughs> you feel me? I just seen Cuz on Slauson. My nigga on 106 in Park, so every big thing, like, nigga, it was a victory for the section, too, because you got to understand the shit he rapping about is what we living actively, so it's like, damn, nigga, the world tapped in 
interested in how we living and with the shit we talking about and our demeanor and our swag and shit. So that shit was hard, bro. I ain't gonna lie, like, and that's my favorite rapper, so you feel what I'm saying, nigga? Everything Cud did was an inspiration to me on hood, no cap. I'm kind of biased when it comes to Nip, like, Cud a, cut a goat, no cap. Well, how do you think it, like, affected you guys and, and the streets and everything when he passed away? Um, so I was doing music and shit, so that shit was like, that shit was like a slap in the face, like, because my biggest goal was to, like, you know what I'm saying, get big enough to get Nipsey on the song, if not get signed by Nipsey. So when that shit happened and, you feel me, I had just left. You get what I'm saying? Like, I probably was with Hustle. I ain't even gonna say with Hustle. I had just left Hustle from the, the, the Marathon store 30 minutes prior, you feel me? By the time I made it to my destination, the bird was in the air. Mind you, I wasn't going nothing but five minutes away. You feel me? But a nigga stopped, got some, got my little weed, hit the liquor store, just do, hitting my, hitting my little swerves. And I ain't even gonna say 30 minutes, probably 15, 20 minutes, nigga. By the time I made it to the block, you feel me, from doing what I was doing, I probably was on the block, probably about five minutes. Nigga, I grabbed my little, I had a police scanner. I grabbed my police scanner from out the little steez ash. You feel me? Because the bird was in the air. You feel me? So we, I could turn on the box to um, see the call. One, I think the older homie had uh, beat me to the punch though and had it on his box. But either way it go, we get the call that it was a shooting on Crenshaw and Slauson. Mind you, I just left Slauson with my nigga Cool Corleone. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm like, man, hell no, I wasn't a shooting on Slauson. I just left Slauson. Hustle was on Slauson. When I say that, they like, yeah. You feel me? It took everybody by surprise. Like, all right, we gotta go up there. So when we get up there, I see my nigga J Rock, the bodyguard. Like he, um, before I even make it to Slauson and Crenshaw, I'm coming down Bryanhurst. I see my nigga, um, my nigga Rock. I'm like, what happened, man? I'm like, who got shot? He like, hustle. I'm like, hustle straight. He like, man, I don't know. We gotta see. So um, when that shit happened, nigga, we was all on Slauson, nigga, waiting for the. Uh, Results, nigga. We got the news that Hustle died, nigga. That shit was just like a big slap in the face, nigga, because you feel me? Hustle was in the works of doing some big ass shit. You get what I'm saying? And like, was finna be able to be put in a position to change a lot of motherfuckers' life. A lot of motherfuckers don't know I ain't gonna, you know what I'm saying? It ain't my, it ain't my place to um, say what was going on. I don't know if it's public knowledge or not, but Hustle was finna. Hustle was finna be able to nigga change a lot of lives. So to see Cub meet his demise in a weird ass way like that, especially a nigga just left Hustle, bro. And you feel me? I'll speak on it briefly. Like, I ain't gonna touch too much on it, but you feel me? Like I said, bro, ever since I jumped into the trenches, you feel me? Nigga, I've been hooked up like Wi Fi, so I'll be thinking to myself, like, damn, nigga. My nigga, Coo Corleone. He had, uh, we were supposed to go to the uh, shooting range, bro. I had just passed for some little money. And we was finna just go to the shooting range, just, you know what I'm saying, chill and shit, before we even felt like, before any of this shit happened. So, nigga, my nigga Coo Corleone was like, come on, bro. We didn't, mind you, I said, bro, I was only going fucking two minutes away from, from to get the 67th and Bryanhurst, bro, from Slauson and Crenshaw, bro, that shit, two minutes, three minutes tops. Nigga, it took me 15, 20 minutes just to meet up with the homies. So my nigga, cool, like, come on, bro. We didn't have the homies waiting for X amount of minutes. You feel me? Let's get right there. I wanted to go talk to Hustle and Rempees, you feel what I'm saying? And shit, on oh, my baby, nigga, if I would have been standing right there, nigga, on Crip, nigga, seven, eight more minutes longer, nigga, we wouldn't be having this interview, nigga, on my mama. Nigga, it would have either been, I would have been fighting the case or nigga, I would have been with Hustle, nigga. But nine times out of 10, you feel what I'm saying, nigga? That wouldn't have happened. But everything happened for a reason, nigga. God make no mistakes, nigga. Hustle, hustle opened up everybody's eyes, nigga, on 6 so Crib. Like, hustle, hustle was, nigga, our Jesus, nigga. On uh, hood, like, nigga, hustle was like, fuck a prophet or whatever they say, like, nah, nigga. Hustle was like, yeah. Hustle was a special person. Like, nigga, hustle had, hustle had a mission. 
on her like like Jesus did, whatever. The, you know, I'm not too familiar with the story, but a nigga know the 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 the, the summary of it. Died at 33. You know what I'm saying? Touched many people. You know what I'm saying? Revolutionary, like that's hustle for shit show, and I hate that. You feel me? My nigga had to meet his demise for the world to see like how much of a goat and how much he touched people on her, cause Cub was like truly a special ass person, no cap. Yeah, we, we didn't really know all the stuff he was doing, you know? We didn't know about the jobs he was giving away and the stuff he was doing until he passed away. And then, you know, we just, all these headlines start coming out about all this positive stuff he was doing in the community. You know, and, and that just made it extra uh, emotional, I think, for a lot of people to see somebody oh, yeah. who was making some real change in this community Come on, bro. to be killed like that, man. Uh, Come on, bro. You know, it, it was a sad day for the West Coast, you know. Come on, bro. In general, for everybody, you know. For everybody, for the world, bro. It's like, you feel me? Like, that shit was crazy, bro. That shit, like, changed the whole energy of my neighborhood, bro. Like, on hood, like, nigga. Hustle, like, nigga, like, the world look at Hustle like, yeah, this Hustle, the rapper, the music mogul, nigga, Hustle, that lot, nigga, the marathon, nigga, at first it was Sloss and Tease, but once Hustle got got in that lot and he kept, like, he, he had a space in that lot, like, that lot raised the generation of niggas, bro, because you feel me, if you didn't have a father in the house, you feel me, even if you did, nigga, you gonna go up, you go up there to that lot, bro, and it was father figures, nigga. It was Fats so R.I.P. Adam, Black Sam, my nigga D that worked in the phone store, my nigga Krusty, you feel what I'm saying? Uh, Pops, Nipsey Hussle, and uh, Sam Dad. You feel me? Like, it was positive role models to look at. Them niggas get up, they go work, nigga, and they making it happen. Not only, nigga, is they working, nigga, they touching the mass, nigga, Hustle. It's touching the mass, nigga. You can, you can pull up on Slauson and see a superstar like Hustle was bigger than just, you know what I'm saying, the L.A. buzz or something. This is a superstar. Like, you can pull up, nigga, right there, see Hustle, fuck around. Hustle might have a Rick Ross or a Lil Boosie, like somebody important, another monument with him. Like, nigga, that loud raise, niggas, bro. You can come up there, like, nigga, and really, like, older homies, nigga, Used to be in that lot, so you go up in there and get some game, you'll get your you'll get your your tools sharpened, you feel me? I'm saying you kick it long enough, you might hear a story, nigga, about some shit that happened back in the day to answer this question to be the reason for this politic. You know what I'm saying? Hustle might sit you down in the car, nigga, give you some game, you know what I'm saying? If you a real young nigga from the station, like might sit you in the Maybach, smoke a blunt with you, play some unreleased put you up on some game, nigga, especially a nigga like me that's doing music and shit, you feel me? Sam, if he fuck with you, nigga, Sam, uh, uh, put you up on game, like, nigga, have a conversation with you, pick your brain, like, make sure you on your shit, nigga, you ain't got no money in your pocket, nigga, big bro or Sam, nigga, look out for you, Adam, Fats, anybody up in the all money in family, nigga, that, that money, like that, that, I'm not, I, the money tree, yeah, for sure, the money tree, but that family tree, nigga, that shit was like, yeah, money tree, like, nigga, and not just physical cash, like, nigga, they te they they give you game on, nigga, how to really, like, be a better you, go get you some money, like, make shit happen, so, nigga, losing hustle, nigga, we lost that lot, we lost that love, nigga, that little Crenshaw Slauson, like, nigga, that little lot right there, it looked like a little lot, but that's a big lot, nigga, a lot of love came from out of there, like, a lot of game, nigga, a lot of, a lot of, uh, 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 nigga, historical events took there, nigga, like, like, took place there, like, bro, that, that lot was worth a lot for a nigga, like, me, you feel me, Earth, Turf, Birth, like, nigga, it was, like, role models, like, you feel me, it was, like, you feel what I'm saying, like, that shit was just deeper, bro, than the t-shirt store, like, uh, that shit, like, for real, bro, that shit raised some of us, bro, I ain't gonna lie, like, nigga, for real. How did you feel seeing Nipsey get a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame? Nigga, I feel like now I got to work hard, nigga, and I got to get a, um, a a Hollywood star, too, because that's what Nipper want. Like, nigga, he said, even though he, he passed away, like, nigga, he our blueprint, literally, as a crib. He our blueprint, like, nigga, he's showing you. 
Like, nigga, work hard, grind hard, nigga, and then nigga gonna reap the benefits. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, even though he not here no more, like, nigga, he, he, he did so much great shit that, like, his legacy gonna forever live on. So, that shit deep. You feel what I'm saying? I seen that nigga that stars, like, Hustle got a star, nigga, on Holly. You know what I'm saying? Amongst, amongst people that a nigga done watched on TV. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, just he, he a star. Like, that shit deep. Like, it's too, it, it mean, it, I can't put it in words, bro. That shit just like, you gotta, like, even though he Nipsey Hustle and shit to the world, like, that's big bro. Like, nigga, that's my mama little homie. Like, nigga, I didn't, you know what I'm saying? I done sat and um, ate with cuz, nigga. I done smoked blunts with cuz, nigga. I done mom, been in the car with moms and took cuz to the studio in his early days of his career. Like, nigga, I seen it. So, like, nigga, I know it ain't like, I know the blood, sweat, and tears. Like, that star represents a lot, nigga. For real. For real. Like, that's a well deserved star. Don't nobody else on the Walk of Fame deserve it, nigga. Hustle deserve it for shit show. No cap. Yeah, man. That was dope to see. Hell yeah. I liked it, man. Well, uh, I believe, you know, you're rapping now. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you have a few songs out. They did some pretty good numbers. Yeah. You know, uh, so Nipsey Hussle was your main inspiration for rapping? Um, Hell yeah. My big brother, Hustle Menace. And Hustle Menace was inspired a lot by Nipsey Hussle, too. That's my mama's first son, Thelton Palmer. R.I.P. to my big brother, nigga. I love you to death, nigga. Past death. You feel what I'm saying? Them two was my big inspiration. Like my mount, my mount, my 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 mount Rushmore for rap. Like what like molded me, like influenced me to rap would be off the dribble hustle, 50 Cent, Chief Keef, and um Trey D. And on my if I had an extended list and I could add a fifth person, it'd be E40, but Trey D, Nip Hustle, Chief Keef and 50 Cent. In my like that's that's like that's that's what that's my inspiration. But hell yeah, hustle just hustle inspired a nigga to just do more than rapping though. Like he he inspired me to hustle. Like nigga, get some money, nigga, take care of your family, like and 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 build something that you can leave when you're not here no more. That's why I made the song 60th Street Anthem. Like you feel me? Even most people probably think it was like. Because I'm from 60s and I wanted to make a game bang song. That was part of it too, but I'm not even on that song dissing nobody. Nigga, we not talking crazy about nobody. We really just like giving it up for our section. Like, nigga, it's like that song is a celebration. Like, you feel me? And and um th shout out to the to the to the people behind the scenes, like, um, that gave me the game. Like hustle, you feel me? Nigga, that's something that that's gonna be able to uh, generate generate revenue forever. 60th Street Anthem, even if even if even if my even if only my neighborhood listened to it, my the 60s is world global. You feel me? Everybody claims 60s everywhere. So even if I can grab shit, 10% of everybody that's claiming rolling 60s, bro, shit, that's you know what I'm saying? That'll keep me in the game with just that one song. And on our hood day, I generate a lot of money from that song, bro. Just off our hood that alone, bro, I make a lot of money, bro, just off that one song, bro. Like, hustle shoulder, nigga. Like, nigga, this shit, this shit deeper than just getting in the booth and rapping, trying to diss a nigga hood and disrespect the nigga. You can really take this shit far. Like, if you carry yourself like a man and you stand on what's right, you know what I'm saying, and you value your morals and your principles, you feel what I'm saying? Like, it ain't nothing for me to get in the booth and get the diss and the gang of niggas and talking crazy, but like, that ain't really respectable because, nigga, at the end of the day, music is like, you feel me, this shit, like, music is a soundtrack to life, you feel what I'm saying? So, a nigga don't wanna just be on there uh, limiting myself to a certain amount of people when I'm rapping for us, nigga, I'm rapping for LA, every young nigga out the trenches, like, don't matter where you from, like, yeah, nigga got ops and shit, but like, you feel me? I'm rapping for every young nigga out of LA that's dealing with these obstacles, being a young gang banger, you know what I'm saying? Trying to make it out this shit and take care of what you gotta take care of. And I learned that from Hustle. You get what I'm saying? Cause Hustle was hooded enough to 
get on the beat and diss anybody, but cuz used his voice to push positive shit. So I'm on the same hype. Niggas know what I'm on outside of music or what I was on outside of music. But now a nigga trying to promote peace. And I ain't gonna say peace, bro, cause I, that would be lying my music. I'll be saying some crazy shit, but like, I'm just telling my story, bro. I'm trying to promote a nigga to express they self, like if they got the ability to and they know how, or a nigga, if you listen to my shit, I'm telling the story for a million young niggas, not just me, because you feel me? I'm really from the city. I ain't just pop up out of nowhere. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what's up, man. That's what hustle inspired. Though. That's that's in, inspired by hustle, straight up. What can the fans look forward from you in the future? Okay, um, so you know what I'm saying we approaching 2023. By the time this come out, it'll be 2023. So, um, man, this year, bro, I'm coming. I'm a flood. I'm a flood. I'm a flood the streets with all these singles I got in my phone, and then. We're gonna get visuals to y'all, bro. Then I'm gonna draw my first EP just to get the streets a solid body of work to listen to. A lot of, I'm gonna, feel, I'm gonna drop an EP and uh, visuals for every song. Just get my name back in the algorithm, get people back talking about me. And then, bro, I'm gonna keep my foot on the gas. Like, it's Mo Brian Hurst baby music coming. Um, I'm looking forward to working with all my peers, you know what I'm saying? And, Anybody in LA, bro, blood, crip, uh, Hispanic, white, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Let's get it in, let's make history, let's, you know what I'm saying, for real. Like, not anybody, but you feel me, like, nigga, if you, like I said, if, like, I'ma keep saying, if you, if you pushing that narrative, like, you know what I'm saying, get some money, move this shit forward, not move backwards, and if you a nigga in your section, you can just about do anything you wanna do if it ain't against the rules, you feel what I'm saying? So, I'm for I'm for I'm for furthering the uh, culture, bro. Like, as far as like on the West Coast, bro, because we slept on. There's a lot of talent out here, nigga, on both sides of the fence, homies and enemies. Like, nigga, it's a lot of talent out here, nigga, and we ain't just out here robbing niggas for jury and shit. Like, I'm trying to get, I want to get the city back cracking. Like, you feel me? Like, and them Joe Moses hustle, DJ Mustard. YG in them days, you remember when the city was fun, like nigga, it was functioning, like a nigga could come out here, have fun, you feel what I'm saying, bad bitches and all that, like I'm trying to bring them peoples back outside, like you get what I'm saying, because I'm, 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 I'm in tune, I'm in tune with the, with the, with the gorillas, you feel me, I'm ready to get the gorillas back dancing and not beating on their chest, you feel what I'm saying, I'm trying to get it. Smooth out this bullshit narrative they got on the city, bro, because it's really talent out here and everybody ain't trying to rob a nigga chain. Everybody out here in white around the mouth, niggas having money, just like every other place having money, nigga, and, and we welcome. I'm saying it, nigga, Brian Hurst, baby, welcoming niggas with open arms, nigga. Hit me up, nigga, if you feeling up to it. I ain't asking a nigga for not a dollar, but like, if you come through this motherfucker and you want to have a good time, you want to make it through this motherfucker unscratched, you know what I'm saying? Let's do it, bro. Let's make music. Let's further the culture. Let's let's get this bullshit ass narrative off of LA, bro. Because right now we got a dark cloud over the city. I'm trying to I'm trying to further the culture. No cap. I hear that, man. Hell That's yeah, what's bro. up, Brian Hurst, baby, man. Uh, you know you got a dope story, man. Real interesting. I know the fans are gonna love it. You know I'm looking forward to what you got coming up. I know you got a lot, a lot you're working on. Hell yeah. I, uh, you know what I'm saying? It sounds pretty dope, man. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate you for having me on your platform too, bro. So, you know what I'm saying? Likewise, we're going to be locked in. I'm going to keep you posted what I'm doing and shit. Keep more content coming because I fuck with Cam Capone a long way, bro. <laughs> hey, man. That's what's up, man. You know the truth, buddy. Sure. It was a pleasure. All right, bro. Stay up, bro. You know the truth. You too, brody. Happy holidays. You too. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.